What, is the fucking curator gonna come on now like he always fucking does? Even until Dawn had a curator type dude. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the show. Oh, it's an old bitch. We are friends, aren't we? No, we're not. I've waited for you. I've waited. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves... Can you, like, zoom the fuck out from her? Because I don't want to see that shit. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting. Yes. And terrifying. First prediction already. This bitch right here is the, the blonde. Like the younger. She's just older now. But if you're brave enough... If you let me help you, I can help you. Dude, I don't want to we fucking see your face. You didn't find anything, and so I've nothing to show you. You need to look harder. The cards are out there. If you don't help me, how can I help you? We're supposed to be friends. You said so yourself. Such I didn't say harder. shit. Only you can find them. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light. Jesus, fuck. If you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not necessarily. Oh, at least the fucking prologue is done. Jesus Christ. Please tell me just a moron wrote the prologue and that, uh... Chapter 1, Hackett's Quarry Forever. And that the rest of the game is actually decent from here on out. Please fucking tell me that. Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, established 1953. Fucking school bus. Hi! Ladies. Peace and love. 1707, like August 22nd, yeah, Jacob. Hackett's Quarry Forever! At least these guys don't look like you know they've been fucking the doing meth. Camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. I don't know. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space God. Immediately, okay. she's hot. Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. She's probably going to be a bitch, though. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Oh my god, please don't fucking tell me this is the fucking Until Dawn thing again where you got the bitchy girlfriend of the guy who has no balls. Oh my fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's. it's I gotta get the last bags in there. Come on. with this thing? It's just. Dylan, closing. please. Sorry, bro. Cool. Thanks, guys. I mean, you could just push the fucking door open and say "fuck you." <sighs> Dipshits bolted it. Really? Jesus. 
Jesus fucking Christ, already starting out with this kind of stupid bullshit. <laughs> can you turn around the fucking stairs so I can go the fuck back up? Thank you. If it seems like I'm unimpressed at basically everything so far. Hang on. Yeah, I get it. I don't give a shit. If it seems like I'm unimpressed at basically everything so far, it's because it's still absolutely dumb. <laughs> oh, skill. <sighs> to climb through a fucking window? That doesn't take skill unless you're me. Cause good fucking luck if I could do that. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. Well... <sighs> Lucky for you, I'm certain this game isn't actually gonna be anything about horror. Just some bullshit cliche jump scares, and then some more cliche bullshit, and then we'll wrap it up with some stupid teenage hijinks performed by people who are clearly in their late 20s and then some sexy shit that's supposed to happen but then doesn't happen yeah I still very well might just say fuck it and end this game really I don't know yet it depends on if it improves at all I'm giving it a chance basically okay really dude locking me out okay in my defense a it was Dylan's idea and two it was really funny Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! And that guy is immediately... You know, you know what? Okay. Normally, I like to have a first playthrough being keep everybody alive, but everybody here was already so asinineingly fucking stupid. That want to make my first playthrough to be to get everybody killed. The real reason why those staircases are blocked is because of some stupid shit. <clears throat> Tell me again why and fuck the bags were inside and you have to, and you're bringing them back out. That makes no sense. All right. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god. You are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Son. This guy's been a fucking pushover jerk off this whole time. Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh. What? Oh, sorry. I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Ah, oh, sexy, huh? Hottest at camp by far. Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like, second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby, Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please? Yep, that's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing. Is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Because he's a fucking jerk off. By the way, I just remembered that this is apparently supposed to be the last day of camp, which means that they're actually leaving and not going in. So him picking up the bags from inside actually makes sense. Nah. 
No, but I mean, seriously, come on. Let's, let's right. give him it's some just balls. Like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, empty nest, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, uh, you know what? I changed my mind. I don't like her. Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Huh. That seems legit. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? I don't give a fuck what she's we'll buying. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, Jesus fucking Christ, you. how many yes. fucking times do you have to say that fucking hey, line? shut up. <clears throat> Jesus fuck. Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? <laughs> it's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. Really? I'll go with theft, because at least that way it's not broken. Just missing. I already have no faith in this guy. Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. That looks like a cap. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D don't, Go don't. along. Oh, Nick. Boom. Oh, oh. there it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Ooh. Freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> okay. I will admit that human beings are jackasses sometimes. But I think I, I think the people that Supermassive hangs out with are like astronomically fucking stupid if this is the behavior they put in their games. Cause Jesus fucking Christ. Like the sheer fucking stupidity of every single one of these guys, I I want to get them all killed. They're all fucking idiots. Now, do, do I mind if there's one fucking idiot? No, there's there's got to be fucking idiots, because, you know, there, there are those. But to have 100% be complete fucking moron? No. I don't like oh, it. Oh, thank God. I'm going to get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is... Being dumped in an emergency. Ha oh, Ben. I mean, first off, you're a fucking douchebag, dumbass. But secondly, um, wait, what was I gonna say with that? No, fuck uh, shit. Okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, okay, okay let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. If this continues, I will not continue this fucking game. Unless it's like co-op or something. Please be the saving grace. Please be fucking decent. Please don't be the biggest fucking hey dipshit on planet fucking Status Earth. Report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Why? Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Or find somebody with a goddamn fucking key. But uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Jesus fucking Mr. Christ. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Honestly, at this point, I would expect, like... I would expect to be able to tell these guys almost anything and then just believe it because they're that fucking stupid. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three! Ugh. Mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts! Oh my fuck. All right, I took a break, so I've had some more time to think about this game overall. And I gotta say that I think that the fact that they broke that door down is going to get somebody killed later on just based on the fact that he says it's not like we Aww. killed anyone. This was <clears> little <throat> Izzy's. Who's little Izzy? I want to play a game! <laughs> I, I guess I'll keep it. Let's I don't know. Let's get you back to Izzy. I mean, that is the whole point of being in here, right? <laughs> Ensuring that you get everybody's belongings. I gotta tell you what though, the graphics fidelity is something else. Like I said, it's impeccable, even if the facial expressions are weird How as hell. This place be in the news. <clears throat> Newspaper headline scrap from Chapter One Camp Cabins. A scrap from the local newspaper, the North Kill Gazette. Gazette? Are you kidding me? Are you really that on the nose? It doesn't look recent. Something about a fire. Was it here at Hackett's Quarry? Okay, game, just because I don't move for approximately one millisecond doesn't mean I need you to tell me how to fucking move. Just so you know. I can't believe I'm actually going to miss all those lumpy loose springs. What I want to know is what the hell is up with those things. The green things protruding from the walls. And this game also, okay, this game really wants to be a movie. Here's how I know that. One, the graphics fidelity is made for it. Two, the letterbox. Three, the absolute motion blur. Like, uh, th this game has really bad motion blur. And when I say bad, I don't mean the motion blur is bad. I just mean, like, it has a lot of it. In case anybody is unaware, motion blur is something you do not usually see in video games. However, it is something you have a tendency to see in movies. But in movies, you're, you're not going to be noticing it because it's intended for that. 
So when games have them, it's pretty noticeable because they usually don't, and there's a reason for that. So like, if a game uses motion blur, you can assure yourself that the, the devs probably wanted to make a game. Another example is Kenna Bridge of Spirits. That game, it might as well be a Pixar movie, has a lot of motion blur. And this game has a fucking movie mode for fuck's sake. So that tells you right away what their intentions were. Dylan is not gonna be happy that the kids just left this year. Camp song recording. A recording of the Hackett's Quarry camp song from years gone by. Technology may have moved on, but the song remains unchanged. <laughs> I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. Or you could just pick it up now like you did with the teddy bear thingy. Okay, my guess is this whole party here has two purposes. Purpose number one, backstory, like with the uh, newspaper clipping. Purpose number two, to set up future events, you know, maybe help some people live, maybe fuck some people over to die, that kind of shit. Oh, there she is. Okay, good, good. Didn't take me long to find that. I thought that was the exit, but apparently it was only a swimming pool. But quite frankly, these counselors... Okay, this, this just reminds me of Friday the 13th, the game at this point. But, like, these counselors um, don't look really older than the campers. So, like, I don't know. Alright, bitch. Ready to roll? Yep, I've already seen everything I care to see. Let's do it. I don't care. Let's do it. Finally! Whoever lives and lives, whoever dies, dies. I've looked around enough, I don't give a flying fuck anymore. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's <clears throat> what people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. Faking it is the exact opposite you of being sometime. yourself, you, you fucking know, idiot. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. I would say don't bullshit shit, just be yourself. As cliche as that is. <gasps> oh, 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 wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Are you fucking okay, kidding so me? Jinkies? If I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. Oh, shit. Actually, really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Does yeah, he? Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. You got email. a fucking phone number? What's wrong with yeah. you? Yeah. Who the fuck emails other than for business reasons? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Or a company trying to send oh, you spam. On. Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? I'll do it. Most likely. It'll give me some sort of purview as to what I can expect, so I'm gonna go and do it. It's not like we have anything else to lose anyway. Yes. Sure. What's the victory? Two months. No technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. That brings up a very good point. And the point is this. Are there really summer camps these days that would sit there and have you go, like, without Wi-Fi? Seriously, because there are, like, a lot of people are straight up addicted to their, like, phones and social media and whatnot. Like, they would go nuts without it. I mean, maybe she does have subs, I don't know. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, 
Was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious. What can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. I would subscribe. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The Holy Trinity. Okay, well, now I'm really regretting it. Oh, no, you love me. <laughs> My favorite Except spot. she doesn't do that. The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Because if she weird, did, right? if, if she really did that, then either A, she wouldn't be there, or B, she would have snuck something. Because there's too much of addiction in that. Is, is that smoke? Looks like it. Should we, we get somewhere? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's... Probably just Mr. H burning some stuff. Contained. Before, it's yeah. fucking it's fire. It's not somewhere. fucking yeah. contained. Do you Speaking mean... of which, we should we should probably, you know, give mm. up. Oh yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you. Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick. Waiting for you. All everyone, same. Okay, so they're not gonna I was actually waiting for an option to say no, let's actually go over there and tell somebody about it the fucking fire. It's a fucking fire. It's gonna fucking spread, like, the fuck. But it didn't. So that that's a bullshit tr uh, plot vice. Gotcha. Just making sure. If I if I was in the woods and I saw a fucking fire, first thing I'd say is, yo, let's report that fucking fire. Let's dial nine one one and call the fucking fire service. Eighteen oh one, Dylan. Don't worry, Jacob, quarry, I got you. Summer camp, I got a full tank of gas. So. I gotta play as this oh, dipshit. Fuck me. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh fuck me! I gotta play oh, as this idiot. dipshit. Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? You're all fucking There's idiots. no signal out here, anyways, dude. Okay, this place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy. What? No. It's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. Uh, you. <sighs> what juice? What's wrong with juice? Would you prefer Gatorade? Or actually, you'd probably prefer a fucking Starbucks, hey, wouldn't you? Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take uh, care of my own bag, thank you. Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. And just like that, emasculation is complete. Cool. Ugh. Oh, nudge. Nudge about fucking what? What? I'm just gonna let it be what it is. I don't know what the fuck you mean by nudge. What the hell? Wait, what? I'm Dylan, not N uh, I I don't I don't get this. Okay, game. Here's another issue I have. How about? Instead, apparently that nudge is a big deal. Instead of just saying nudge and having a fucking bar go down, how about be more specific? Say, I don't know, nudge Nick. If you would have said, like, nudge Nick, as in, you know, say something to her, that would have been fine. Who the fuck wrote, who, who the fuck made this shit? Dishes are done, boys. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice, that's cool. What's it about? Why? Why? What? Dude, it, it, what what's a podcast? She asked what the podcast about, not like I don't know what what's that body bag doing in the back of your trunk? Uh, what the fuck? Friendly? Yeah, this what's is it a about? weird it's fucking game. You think I was listening to a podcast 
about you. Okay, if anyone a podcast <laughs> Yeah, if there's a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't All look of and you smell are childish. Like a butt. No, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. And here's where we get some plot exposition. Got you. Truth be told, in real life, it would have probably been a political podcast. Because that's like the kind of shit people tend to listen to these days. Either that, either political or movie. Because there are some about movies, too. Who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Sorry, I gotta call bullshit. You mean to tell me you motherfuckers have been at fucking this quarry place for your summer camp for months now? And no counselor or anybody else has ever mentioned the hat, the, the, whatever the fuck you just, the hash slinging slasher, you know, the, the quarry. No one's mentioned that ever when that's probably like one of the most famous things about this fucking summer camp. Really? I call bullshit. You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's um something you should have talked about like day one of being old here. woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for a lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggit's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, okay, okay. one of my issues is that, like, w with the dialogue thing, is how hardcore they make it. Like, it should just be him just chilling and then <sighs> supportive. I don't know. I don't care. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, do bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, I'm nearly done, mm. Mr. H. Well, hop to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? They did ask. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Why the fuck do you need his help? Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Why not? Dude, I don't care. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> like, get the uh, fuck out. Hello? I don't know why the hell he wanted you in that room in the first place, other, uh, unless just so he could eavesdrop. Fuck it, it'll make it more interesting. Just keep the kids. Don't be so much about. They're almost out of here, alright? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have. Just hold your damn horses, alright? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. 
This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like I mean, I heard. I, I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry, I pushed you out like that. Be disappointed all you want. That's the whole. That's the whole reason he was there. No, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, it's a, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know. And my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? <laughs> oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents? Letter after letter. With these terrified kids that they sent home? Huh. Nope. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Ah, okay. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys <laughs> don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Which isn't going to happen. I'll be inquisitive. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Really? What kind of idiot? Actually, these guys Just are all idiots. They're minded by it. <laughs> Where in the good goddamn are they? If anyone would buy that bullshit, it'd be these dumbasses. So I get that. <clears throat> Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Jesus Christ, dude. Do you not have his fucking spare? Right where I left him. Uh -huh. Let's get out. And, and that guy sounds weird as hell. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob.
I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good, because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. The fuck, dude? Enough, enough, both of you. Shit, come on, all right, come dude, on. Chill, chill, Let's go. dude. Oh, God. Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! I actually checked the fucking engine, maybe? Okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Call an Uber? Oh, yeah, there's no service. Payphone? Ah! Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Ron, come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning, and we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Huh. Dude, you really think people are going to listen to this fucking... Okay. You need to have some level of charisma to be in a leadership position. This motherfucker that I'm looking at right now is not charismatic in this life. Well, neither, none of these fucking jerk-offs are charismatic whatsoever. The only person that I can see being in any point of authority here whatsoever... Uh, would be the blonde chick, um, the one with the pink-haired one, and uh, the Asian chick. Because, like, they're the only ones who have shown any sort of assertiveness whatsoever. So, Ryan, I don't see it, but I'll, I'll do compliant anyway. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! These motherfuckers gonna die. So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could <laughs> go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. Have an orgy? No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right. That's it seems like the stars have aligned idiot. for us. No. Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. And some sex along the way. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man, Caitlin. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. 
The blonde and the Asian Mr. both seem promiscuous enough. Insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? She's my favorite so far. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 D dude, dude. It's all good, all right? We get it, you know? You, uh, you don't want to disappoint daddy. I love that. The group is getting bored. The group is getting bored of Ryan. As if I couldn't fucking tell that myself. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told me to do. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right. All right. All right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to... All right, let's do this. Time for the serial killers. What the fucking fuck? Hunting something. Oh. <laughs> Alright, and here's where the game gets interesting. I was hoping you'd come back to me. I wasn't hoping to be back. Fuck you. Let's see what you found. Let's not see what I found. Empty handed. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Find them, please. 